Hey, good morning, y'all. Look, I'm driving, okay? So, I can't really look at the phone. I'm holding it. I don't know if it's facing me. I don't know what's happening, y'all. But, however, I just wanted to jump on and talk to y'all. Good morning and a happy Friday to you guys. I am sending my love to you all. Look, let me tell you, I cannot be the only one who don't have concept of time. Is it a light workers thing? I swear, because I've been up since 7 o'clock this morning, and why am I just getting my day started at 9.36? I mean, I've been up doing stuff. I've been talking to my members. Y'all, um, I have memberships on my YouTube, so definitely, if you want to get inspirational messages, communicate with me directly, things like that, like intuitive messages, um, join. Uh, it's not expensive. I got the Virgo squad. I got the Soul Tribe squad and Divine Feminine squad, okay? Go over there to my channel. Check it out. But however, yeah, I did those things, but I wanted to get out to the park and get moving a little bit because I got acupuncture at 12. So, I'm going to just go with the flow, right? Right now, I'm learning to just be at ease, okay? Not to feel anxious or overwhelmed. And that's my message that I want to give to you guys today. Just to go into your day with the intention of being at peace and staying in a state of joy, okay? Even if you feel like you're being pulled out of your alignment for something, just take a minute, step back, breathe, count, focus on something else just to stay in your alignment because we're trying to manifest totally different lives for ourselves. So we can't keep doing the same thing. We can't keep going through these same cycles. We can't keep learning these same lessons, honey. It's time for us to elevate, all right, and, and really live the life that we deserve, okay? So what I was discovering yesterday, right, so y'all know I be like studying this stuff, and I'm a professor. I study human behaviors, right? I'm realizing, okay, when it comes to our own self-worth, okay, we think we got it, right? We be like, oh, yeah, I got my self-esteem high. Oh, I feel good about myself. Oh, I love myself. But when you go deep into the analogy of it, you got to really think about it. Like, some of the things that we do and accept, it does show, like, a lack of self-awareness, but it also takes away from our true value of who we are, right? And sometimes when it comes down to having things like sometimes folk feel like okay yeah i gotta struggle right i gotta struggle i gotta hustle you know what I'm saying maybe relationships ain't for me maybe you know i don't it's not it's not in my um it's not in the cards for me or whatever but however it's like what makes you think that what makes you think that you aren't deserving of having those things that you aren't worthy of having those things Okay, so that's what I encourage you to do is to go deep and figure out where that feeling is coming from because you are worthy. You are enough. Me and my son was having a um, text message conversation, but actually, look, this is how it started. One of my homegirls that um, are in Florida, we converse and we help each other out intuitively. So I was just telling her, like, I realized, you know, I... I may, you know, I always known I struggle with my self-esteem, but I had realized, like, okay, I may feel, now, wait up, hold on one second, y'all, because I gotta get this together, right, because I ain't really, like, this ain't nothing I really talk about to people, but what I realized is that I don't see myself how other people see me, okay, I don't see that, and what is it that makes me feel like, I'm not everything that everyone says, even though it doesn't matter what people say, because you got to feel it. You have to know it. You have to believe it. You have to own it. But what is it that makes me feel that way? And then I started to dig deep and then I started to understand where that feeling is coming from. Because at the end of the day, when I start thinking about, so say like if I'm thinking about relationships or whatever, and then I'll start being, you know, saying to myself, you know, like, all right, you know, it's whatever. It, it just be how it is. Um, for me because it's easier this way it's easier for me not have to worry or not have to stress about you know what someone's doing or how someone feels or what someone thinks it's easier for me to just take you know be to govern myself let's just put it that way right to be responsible for myself it's easier for me you know not to have to worry about competing with someone else for a person's um, attention you know so I, I'll just you know maybe I'll just go ahead and just 
and you know just be where I'm at like right now like don't date don't do anything right and when you think about it even though it's easier but it's like why don't you feel like you are worthy enough to have that so you would totally cut yourself off from having that because one I know we may try to pin it on the other person we stay projecting you'll say um it's because the um other person isn't worthy you know what I'm saying? They, they, they don't know my worth. They don't realize. But if you're aligning with people that you have to try to prove your worth to, then of course that's not your people. But it's people out here that you don't have to do that. And you don't have to cut yourself off or you don't have to close your heart or shut your heart down because of the simple fact that the people that you're aligning with can't see your worthiness. And it's like you're taking away from yourself and depleting yourself of the love that you deserve. You feel me? Like you deserve it. Why don't you feel like you deserve it? Why do you feel like it's nearly impossible for you to have something as great as love? See, for you to have companionship. For you to have partnerships. Like true healthy connections. Even though we're not supposed to put our hope and our faith in people because we're not. You're supposed to put it within yourself. And I feel like once we start to learn that we have to get into alignment and we have to balance our own energies and we have to work on our own demons and we have to, you understand, work on, on our own structure, like being what exactly it is that we want, then you begin to attract these type of people into your life. And even if you happen to attract a piece of you vibrating so high that you already uh, you already know you pay attention to the red flags you already know when to shut it down because why you begin to realize i'm worth more i'm worthy of having love that appreciates me i'm worthy of having a person who enjoys being with me without me having to worry about competing with another person for that love you understand what i'm saying y'all I'm trying to break it down. I'm trying to drive, pay attention, because you know I'm probably, I'm dope. Look, I'm breaking all types of numbers. 717 on my time, I guess. But just think about these things, y'all. These are just my morning thoughts. You know, these are my car chronicles, however. Now, look. Go to my YouTube, y'all. Subscribe. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. The Oracle Goddess. The Lightworker Society. And check this out. It's pages out here that are not me. They're pretending to be me. They're imposters, you guys. I will never inbox you. I will never message you. So please don't fall for the hype. Protect your space, okay? Because they're coming for you. They're coming to steal from you, okay? Use the spirit of discernment. I love y'all. Peace. <laughs>